Ingenuity's last flight trashed its rotor blades but left it standing and still able to communicate. Now new images from Supercam on Perseverance provide enough detail to piece together the final moments of this ill-fated flight on this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity's final resting spot is more than 400 meters from Perseverance across an expanse of sand ripples that are a keep-out zone for the rover. This means that the two explorers will never meet again. But Perseverance carries a small telescope on its mast that's part of the SuperCam instrument, which can provide close-up images of the crash scene, images eagerly awaited by fans of Ingenuity. Seven SuperCam images from a mosaic arrived last week. Superfan Simeon Schmaus promptly assembled them into the characteristic caterpillar shape and applied processing techniques that reveal an amazing level of detail. Here's Mars Guy for scale. I'll start with a stray piece of hardware about 15 meters from Ingenuity. With the lower resolution view from MassCam Z, it looked like it could be a rotor blade. The SuperCam view clearly confirms this and shows that the tip was broken off like on the other blades. It also shows the little spike that's referred to as a Chinese weight, which is like a counterweight that helps control the centrifugal forces on the blade. Along with what looks like the mounting stem, it's clear that this blade broke off directly from the rotor hub. Looking back at Ingenuity itself, it's clear that the far-flung blade came from the upper rotor. It should be here. The blade on the other end is still there, but the tip is broken off and some of the leading edge is bent up. The two blades on the lower rotor are still in place, but the tips are gone, as shown by the shadow of the near one, and also evident from the shadows viewed by Ingenuity's navcam. Two footprints in the sand ripple are now clearly visible, which provide a clue about the final seconds of the flight. It was just supposed to go straight up 12 meters with no horizontal travel. Instead, it drifted about 10 meters west, so Ingenuity may have been trying to make a course correction as it was descending. Given that there are only two deep footprints, this shows that Ingenuity first made contact on just two legs, probably as it was trying to make a last-second maneuver to the east. There's a large patch of disturbed sand down slope, from the two footprints, which is the location of the deep gouge shown in Ingenuity's post-landing color camera view. I noted in episode 147 that the left foot appears to have dragged through this disturbed sand, so the disturbance happened first, probably as the blades made contact at more than 2500 RPM. One explanation for these observations is that Ingenuity was pitching east when it first hit the sand ripple, which added more pitch in that direction and maybe even a bounce that lifted it out of the holes, followed by contact by the blades. Maybe the counter-rotating action of the blades pushed Ingenuity back to the ground rather than flipping it over. Not sure if the physics works here, but this is the best explanation I've got. There's certainly an element of luck that allowed Ingenuity to survive this brush with death but then an element of luck and really good engineering explain how Ingenuity has lasted more than three years and made 72 flights.